Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn how to solve exponential equations. To start with, exponential equations come in different forms, which requires different strategies to solve or unique strategies to solve each and every one of them. So we're going to start off with a simple example, 5 to the power of 2x minus 4 equals 5 to the power of 12 minus 2x. As you can see here, we have a single exponential number on each side of the equation. And both exponential numbers have the same base, the base of 5, and they're equal, obviously, which means that their exponents or their powers must be the same. So we will equate the powers. So 2x minus 4 must equal 12 minus 2x. As you can see, we have landed on a simple linear equation, which we are going to solve by bringing the variable terms to one side of the equation. So we are bringing negative 2x to the left, which turns into positive 2x. And on the right side, we'll keep the number 12, the constant, and we'll bring the negative 4, which will become positive 4. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, and 12 plus 4 is 16. So we'll solve for x by isolating it from 4. So 4 is multiplying x, which means we're dividing both sides by 4. And that will give x equal to 4. So this would be the solution to this equation. Now, <clears throat> what was the strategy that we used to solve this equation? Remember that for the simple ones, it's quite intuitive to figure out each and every step. And uh, it is very important that as we make progress or move to more and more difficult equations, we list or articulate all the strategies that we use. So uh, what we had in here is a single term on each side. So when you have a single term, exponential term on each side, you compare the bases. If the bases are the same, you simply equate the exponents and solve. So if you would like to, I think it's helpful if you wrote all the strategies using your own words. So make a story about each solution. Now, let's move on to the next example. We have 8 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 2x plus 1. So again, here we have a single exponential term on each side of the equation. But when we compare the bases, the bases are different. So we have a base of 8 on the left side and a base of 4 on the right side of the equation. So what we want to have is a common base or the same base. So next we have to think, can I express number 8 as or the base 8 as an exponential number and number 4 as an exponential number in such a way that their bases are the same? And you're probably thinking already that number 8 is an exponential number 2 to the power of 3 and still to the power of x, obviously. And number 4 can be 2 to the power of 2 and then to the power of 2x plus 1. So as you can see now, we have the same basis on each side, which is bringing us closer to the solution. So the base 2 will be to the power of, remember, the power law here for exponents, the power 3x equals the base of 2 to the power of, here we have 2 times 2x plus 1. So I'm showing the uh, steps, uh, but um, basically what you have to do is multiply. So you can skip this step, obviously, especially if you are in senior grades. So here we have uh, 2 to the power of 3x then equals 2 to the power of 4x plus 2. So don't forget that number 2 should multiply in each term in the binomial. So now we have arrived to the same format that we had in example number 1, right? When we had the same base and we just equated the exponents. So we will make the exponents equal. And as you can see here, we have a linear equation. So we'll bring the variables on the left side and then constants in the other. So we have negative x equals 2, which means that x must equal negative 2. So what did we learn in this example? So what new thing or new step or new strategy? So in this example, we learned that when the basis of exponential numbers or exponential terms are not the same, we should make an attempt to make the basis the same because that will simplify the equation a little bit more and make the, the solution easier, okay, solving the equation easier. So let's move on to the next equation. 
Now, in the next equation, as you can see here, we have a group of terms on the left and the right. So the operation between the terms on the left is multiplication. So we look at it as a single term. So we have a coefficient of 4 in here. And then we have the base of 32 to the power of 4x minus 9. And on the other side, we have a coefficient of 16 and a base of 16 to the power of 3x plus 5. Now, our focus should be on the exponential part of the term, which is, in this case, 32 on the left, 16 on the right. So, number 32 and 16 are two different bases, so we will try to convert them to exponentials of the same base. So, number uh, 32 is 2 to the power of 5, So and we'll bring this to the power of 4x minus 9, because it's already there. And number 16 is 2 to the power of 4, and this will be to the power of 3x plus 5. So once we've taken care of the exponential part of each term, so we're going to look into the coefficients. So there are different ways of dealing with coefficients in this case. So we can divide by 4 both sides, and this will have no coefficient, and then the 16 over 4 will turn into number 4 in here. So uh, another strategy that we can use in this case is uh, converting number numbers 4 and 16 into exponentials with base 2. So 2 to the power of 2, and then 2 to the power of 4, and then combine them with the uh, exponential terms or exponential part. So I'm going to choose to divide both sides by 4. And on the left side, we will have... We no longer have a coefficient, but the right side we will have a 4, just a 4, 16 over 4. So the left side now has become 2 to the power of 5 times 4x minus 9. And obviously I'm showing all the steps and I'm going a little bit slowly, but uh, if you feel that, you know, you can multiply right away, go ahead and do so. And on the other side we have number 4, which we will convert into 2 squared. And then we still have number 2, and then to the power of 4, you have the power rule here, 3x plus 5. So let's see what we've created in here. So we have the base 2 to the power of, here we are expanding, 5 times 4x, that's 20x. 5 times negative 9 minus 45. And on the other side, we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 4, 3x plus 5. So two things that we have in here, we have product rule and we have the power rule. So we are going to add the exponent, so we'll keep the base the same. Let's make it the same color here. And then we have 2, and then we have plus, that's because of multiplication of exponential terms. And... Obviously, here we can start expanding. So 4 times 3x, 12x. 4 times 5, 20. So that means we have 12x plus 20. So we have a single exponential number on each side. Bases are equal, which tells us that we can now equate the exponents. And here we are. So we have 20x minus 45 equals 12x plus 22. So we are simplifying in the meantime. And uh, <coughs> numbers 2 and 20. So we have 20x minus 12x equals 22 plus 45. So that would be 8x. And the right side will have 67. So x would equal 67 divided by 8. And this would be the answer. So you can try to simplify this. 67 is a prime number. So we're going to leave it as is. And uh, this would be the solution in this case. So as you see, in this group of uh, exponential equations, we dealt mostly with uh, exponential equations where we could convert or simplify each side to a single exponential number. Uh, and we made the basis the same. So this would be one of the main strategies when we are solving 
uh, exponential equation. So try to make the basis of every term the same. Now we're going to move on to the next group of exponential equations, the ones that are in quadratic form. And for this, I invite you to follow with my next recording. Thank you for uh, watching and thank you for learning with me. Bye for now.